Hey everybody, Nathan Nile here, and I am currently reviewing a bunch, The Land Before Time franchise, which is a bunch of different movies, starting with the original, the one that started it all, The Land Before Time, uh, came out in, I think, 1988, yeah, and it's a story about a bunch of baby dinosaurs, Littlefoot, Ducky, Sarah, Petrie, Spike, and there are a bunch of different species, Littlefoot's a long neck, uh, Sarah is a three horn, uh, Ducky is a duck bill, now Spike, he's a spike tail, which, you know, th they have, you know, they have all these little cutesy terms for what they are, you know, instead of brontosaurus and stegosaurus and, and all the, and pterodactyl and stuff, they just call him a flyer and a long neck and all that, and all the other stuff. So that's, that's pretty fun, it's, it's a pretty cutesy type thing. This movie, though... It's the only one in the series that has, I don't want to say it's the only one that has a real story, but it's the only one, it's a real, it's a real tearjerker, it's a very, even now it's very emotional, watching this, even as an adult, there are still like three different points in the movie that like really make me want to tear up, and yeah, it's very, it's also the only one that's not a musical, they start adding the musical element to the other ones after this, this is the one that like, you can tell that they just put their heart and soul into writing a really great story, not knowing how well it would be received. And it turned out incredibly well. Um, the story starts with, you know, Littlefoot. You know, he's a baby. He gets hatched. And then he gets attacked by a sharp tooth, which is what they call, you know, the carnivores. Uh, specifically, this one, a T-Rex. And his mom fights off the T-Rex. But then there's also this earth shake that happens. And... You know, Littlefoot's mom dies, and he meets all these other baby dinosaurs that got separated from their parents. And they're working together to try and find their way to the Great Valley. And it's got good character development. It's got a lot of really you know, heart heartwarming little pieces in there. You get to see them slowly becoming friends throughout time. And you get to see a, little, a good little mix of these different you know, character types and... You know, and in the end, you know, spoiler, uh, spoiler alert, you get a big payoff at the end where, you know, they reach the Great Valley and everything kind of turns out well. And even though this isn't the only one that's not a musical piece, it does have an incredible song in there that I'm guessing most people don't remember. Uh, if we hold on together, which is a very beautiful song. You know, take some time to listen to the end credits when it's playing. And also take some time to read the names in the credits. Because a lot of people put a lot of hard work into making this, which is an amazing story. And so yeah, this one, definitely great. Among this series, I think most people have only seen this one. And it's easily like, but for me, this is, it's easily top three. I'll tell you why so, when I get to the others, some of them are just a little better. Uh, I will personally put this at number two, only because there's one specific story that really got to me as a kid. But other than that, yeah, this is an amazing movie. If you haven't seen it before, go check it out. If you have seen it before, but only as a child, not as an adult, go check it out again. It's a really great story. It's re it's really it's amazing. It's touching, heartfelt, and it's just it's worth a look at. You know, and it's. It's just, it's a great story that I think will survive for many generations. I think this is something that'll really travel well. Like, I think, you know, my kids will watch it, and their kids will watch it, and their kids will watch it. I think this is one of those timeless classics.